Hello, welcome to Design Fusion. My name is Nirav Mistri, and today we will see an overview of technical data package in NX 1953. So first, we can understand about NX licensing for a technical data package. So NX license for technical data package comes as a add-on module and the product number is NX30186 and this data package is available from NX1847 which is released in January 2019. Now we can understand about what is technical data package and what can you do with the technical data package so basically technical data package is a single container comprised of collection of one or more document that contains all of the information you needed to complete a product and all its requirements so basically whatever you see in that technical data package it has all the information for particular products it may be a single component or it may be a whole assembly uh, for example if, if you buy some product from ikea or walmart or some furniture from ikea or walmart then you will see a uh, one uh, brochure is come with with the package like how to fix or how to fix how to install the product so that is basically kind of uh, technical data you can do a same thing for your products in an NX with this NX technical data package module. In, a, in this module, it is very easy and effortless publishing of technical data package. You can also directly publish to a new team center technical data package. Generally, the technical data package is come with 3D data, metadata, and if your product or your model has PMI then it also contain a PMI data you can you can export this uh, technical data in a industrial standard format like JT or 3d PDF and it has embedded 3d model viewing so it whenever it exports data in PDF you have a multiple choice to see a different kind of view you can also rotate or move the product in a pdf as well so basically it's a read only format for your 3d data if you want to present to the customer or so it can create and publish company specific uh, you can also make your own template for technical data package based on your request your specification and your requirement so i will show you how we can uh, create a technical da data or publish a technical data from existing template and also as well as we can see how we can create our customized technical data package template so here i have opened uh, one assembly uh, for steam stop valve assembly and i want to publish this assembly in my technical data publication so for technical data publication you can go in file export and you can find published technical data package or the best practice is you can go in a pmi tab and you can see here a publish button by clicking on publish button you will have a option to select different type of template as well as different type of format for export the data or publish the data so here i have i can here i will select uh, a4 size assembly landscape format and for the exporting method i will use 3d pdf in a model model view you can also include different type of settings like if you want to just select a, a selected view or if you want to select all this closed view you can choose based on your preferences but for now i will select all the views here and if you see in output you can save your exported file 
from your required location so you can change whenever whatever location you want to save your exported file and in a setting group you can see here you can also protect your pdf with the or your jt file with the password by clicking ok i have already created so that's why I just ignore this message and click yes so it will export a technical data in a a4 size for my assembly so here siemens has by default uh, template and i selected the a4 size assembly landscape format so you have uh, all the information here you have a bill of material table here if you have some comments you can see some comments here you have a viewport here and you have a uh, view selection so if you want to select the back view you can click here and it will represent it here if you select the bottom view it will show you a bottom view if you select the front view you it can show you a front view so based on your your requirement you can change the view even if you can zoom in and zoom out the view in a viewport so the so this is uh, existing template I used to export the technical data if I want to create my own you can also create your own template by clicking on new template and if you want to use uh, some existing template and modify it you can do that but I will start with the blank uh, blank file and I will re rename it with uh, a4 df emi assembly and landscape and you can save in any location for now and afterwards we will move this file in uh, existing library so by clicking ok it will create a blank sheet and it will ask you for choose the size so i selected a4 size and in orientation i i was decided to create a landscape and i am satisfied with the selection and click ok so it will basically give you a imaginary borderline for for your template with a4 size so here you have a you have a option for your template so if you wanna change some description from here whatever you put it for your template you can also change uh, presentation name and also can add the description for your template so here I will add a one viewport to see or see the view by view for my model and I you can also do a manual input here suppose if you want to select one 110 one one ten square and click apply if you don't want to border you can uncheck here but I want to border so I can see it I I can difference differentiate between other other tables so click OK and if you want to view control you can also put it like view control from there and you I want to place it at the bottom of your viewport you can also add a rectangle table if you want some border if you want to do a, some bordering for or some box for any reason you can also insert here I don't want to write I don't 
want to use right now you can also place a view list holder so it will give you a multiple view in a single spot so i just put it a viewport here you can also create a table by clicking on general table and you can choose a number of row number of column and column width and row height from here and by clicking on screen it will place the table and click cancel so you by double clicking here you can add the text so i will put it like part here part name and click ok if you want to create automatic table you can also create automatic table here so if you have assembly you can select automatic table for bill of material you can also add a row from here but i am okay with this three uh, column for my bill of material i will place it somewhere here and you can also have a scope so if you want to see a bill of material for all level top level or component level you can choose based on your requirement here and click ok and again i want to put some pmi table so you can also put a pmi table and you can also decrease and increase the height by selecting a node point and move in and out so i will place it somewhere somewhere here and you can also see here a filter for publishing your pmi so you if you don't like it some information in your pm from pmi table you can uncheck and it will remove from your table and click ok i am ok with that and click ok you can also import an image so this template i created for my company so i want to put some logo here so if you if you click image and you have option to import the image so i have you can import image in jpeg and png format from here by clicking i have a png format clicking here you can also change the expect ratio or you can manually input the detail but i will just adjust it here if i want to place it here select on specify location and click here or you can move it manually if you don't like it you maybe increase or decrease uh, width and height of your logo and click ok so i am satisfied with uh, my template and by clicking on save it will save at my saved location and i will close this template here basically i know that i save in somewhere in my local drive so i will copy this and you have to go in a c drive program file and looking for siemens folder and if you have like if you are working on nx 1926 you have to go in a particular that revision or oh, that series i uh, am working on 1953 and looking for a folder for tdp and it has a folder for template so basically you have to place your place your template here by click and paste here so we'll see your your template is placed in a template group here you can minimize it and now i have already opened a existing assembly and i want to pub publish this assembly in my custom template so i have to go in a pmi publish and now whenever i scroll down i will see my custom template a4 df pmi assembly landscape and i wanna save with the all views and click ok and i have existing same name so i just click it yes so it will overwrite on my existing pdf file and it will export in a 
new format so this is my custom template you can also make your own based on your your company and your requirement so here we have a pmi table here and we have a bill of material so in earlier version they have a blank call a blank row in a, this version whatever component you have it in your assembly it will just create a table with the inputted data the blank row and col blank row and column it it will be deleted automatically also if you have if you can see here in a pmi table you have a filter so if you want to see all the dimension or you want to see uh, just a dimension means you want to see all the details for PMI or just a dimension you can select based on your preferences so I select PMI I select front view so I have a front view but if I want to see uh, some particular dimension by clicking on it it will automatically highlight but if you click if you check the box for zoom to PMI it will zoom a uh, uh, PMI dimension based on your selection if I select here it will zoom automatically so this is how you can use a uh, technical data publication thank you for watching this video for more video please subscribe our youtube channel or visit our website www.designfusion.com thank you